Hi, I'm David. I own and operate Country Whatnot Gardens here outside of Rochester, Indiana, which is about an hour south of Michigan State Line. I grow 25 different species and varieties of bamboo, including Phyllostachys parvifolia right behind me. And I've been a little slow with videos lately, <laughs> number one, due to the weather. The weather has just been absolutely horrendously hot and humid, so I've been doing the bare minimum of what I have to get done outside. And also, not a lot's going on with the bamboo this time of year. What's happening with the bamboo right now this time of year is that it is root growing season still. And so most of what's going on with the bamboo right now is underground and we can't see it. There are some rhizomes that are popping uh, the ground surface like they do. And um, some of them come up and turn upwards like this and then become a comb of sorts. So not a lot is happening with the bamboo. There are some perennials in the garden that are currently blooming. Let's take a look at one of them. This is a plant that's up here in the little shade garden that's on one side of the house here. And this is actually a cold hardy begonia. This is native to Japan. It's called Begonia grandis, and that color is so eye-popping. <laughs> and not only that, but the undersides of these leaves, check out how vibrant that is. Pretty cool. It spreads, makes a nice little uh, colony here. I have to have the bamboo around it here just uh, to help keep uh, critters from bothering it, disturbing it. Um, I had been mulching it the past uh, few winters that I've had it with some straw so deep. And this past winter, I found out that it is cold hardy here without mulch because it has multiplied out past the point of which I was applying the mulch. <laughs> so the portion of the plant that's out here the furthest is that was actually not under mulch. It, uh, I had mulched it closer to the foundation back there. So it's a little bit more cold hardy than I give it credit for. So. We'll say zone uh, five slash uh, six, I think five, if you get a little little shelter here at the foundation. But it's a really nice, really nice shade plant. I quite like it. Um, I have another one over here, right there. But they they look really nice, and I plan to transplant some out to the bamboo garden. And I do have this pot of babies that it produced last year. Uh, not seeds, but um, little bulblets. Our season's not quite long enough here for me to get ripe seed pods, unfortunately. But that is one plant that I do plan on putting out in the garden before too long in some of the shaded areas. And tis the season to pick up bargain mums uh, at your local grocery store, a uh, big box store, uh, wherever they're currently on sale for only uh, three, four bucks a piece. You can't go wrong, right? Um, true, it is better to plant cold hardy mums in the spring, but you can't have hardly find them in this area in the spring. Um, these will be getting planted. They are cold hardy here. I have some that have returned uh, from, from previous plantings. And as long as you plant them in the correct soil and take care of them properly, uh, they do return. So. You don't have to waste money and throw them out only to have them die or rot in the ground over winter. But um, I will be doing a probably a planting video on these coming up because they look so nice with bamboo because you have that dark green of the bamboo along with these colorful mums in the fall, again, when not much else is doing anything. So keep your eye out. I plan to have a uh, planting video coming up on these. And you might be wondering what these tubs are. Um, I've just been using these to water the mums in as needed whenever they, whenever they dry out or otherwise show signs of needing water. But um, I'm real happy with, with these. Got a quite a nice selection of colors. I like this two-tone one over here. Very vibrant. Almost looks like a uh, tropical cactus bloom sort of <laughs> in a way. Just the color of it. 
Here's one more look at the parvifolia uh, before I go. They might notice the Lycoris that were in bloom in a previous video have pretty much died down. You can still see some stems laying there, but their season has passed until next year. But they will be back. <laughs> So keep an eye out for an upcoming video uh, on those mums and what I'll be doing with it and how to combine them with the bamboo because to me, growing bamboo isn't about just growing bamboo. It's about growing it in the landscape, making it look good, finding useful purposes for it, everything that that encompasses and entails. Um, I will be doing a video on those mums, how I'm gonna combine it with bamboo to make it look good for this time of year in the fall when not much else is going on in the landscape. So uh, if you will, stay tuned to that video. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, thank you for watching and take care. Bye.